So I'm guessing most of you guys have all played this game, and if so, you've probably ran into this mechanic, which is being overweight. When you exceed your weight limit in this game, you get a warning on screen and then your character slows down to a crawl. Normally, this is something you kind of brush off, deal with, and move forward. However, I started to think, what if I could beat the entire game being overweight like this? Meaning it would be extremely difficult to avoid getting hit by bullets because I'm just moving so slow. So I would literally have to become a tank. Now, although this sounds pretty simple and honestly kind of boring, it honestly became one of my favorite runs. We implemented a couple unique mods that made this extremely entertaining and fun, especially hanging out with you guys. Let's just say in this run, to keep it lore friendly as possible, I ate a lot of burritos. I basically made a rule for myself that I didn't tell chat that anytime someone mentioned eating a burrito, I had to then open my inventory and eat a burrito, which was horrible because later in the run, my game started to crash whenever I'd open my inventory, which was great. If you want to watch any of the live streams from this whole thing and see it all play out, I'll be linking those in the description. Also, if you wouldn't mind, you know, doing the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. We got a lot of cool things coming up with Starfield and the Phantom Liberty DLC that I'm extremely excited to create a lot of content around. Anyways, that's about it. Now let's get into the video. Starting up a new game, I put it on the hardest difficulty, went for the Street Kid intro, and you get to see the first mod I installed. Yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> the clipping, the meshes don't work. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Obviously, body, because we want health. Technical ability, we're gonna want armor. I think we're gonna go reflexes. He's beautiful, I agree. Starting up the Street Kid intro, in order to help our friend Pepe, we take on this job from this guy named Kirk and eventually get arrested by the police. But we end up meeting our new best friend, Jackie, where he introduces us to his mama's chili. Come on, let's go have some lunch. Lunch? You would not believe my mama's chili. Oh, we're already best friends, town. for sure. Okay, food it is. <laughs> Let's go. Of course, I would never say no to food. Now, one more mod I included was a mod that added weight to items that normally don't have weight. So things like ammo, but also food and drink. So me being the burrito lover I am, ended up giving myself 1 million burritos, putting myself 300,000 pounds over the weight limit. And now you get to see the walking speed for the rest of this run. Like I've done with most runs, I decide I want to go pretty loud and aggressive pretty much this entire run, so we walk in and get shooting. Yes, thank you game, I know I'm overweight. <laughs> you don't have to keep reminding me every item I pick up. <laughs> Our girl's top shelf. Just a constant this reminder, Black you're Market fat. <laughs> We're gonna avoid using stealth the majority of the time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's equip that. Still I'm gonna mostly use shotguns. This is gonna be one of my mains. The tank. <laughs> oh gosh. Nice, Jackie. Good stuff. With Sandra safe, we get through this driving segment and eventually Jackie takes me home. Waking up the next morning, I decide to get my clothing in place, kind of, it's good enough, and head off to meet up with Jackie. We head over to Vic's, I get my zoomy eyes, and eventually waddle my way to meet up with Dexter Deshaun. We talk through the couple things we need before the mission the heist, and I get released into the open world. I then decide to immediately go grab this free bike that's just in this garage, which chat helped me find out in one of my previous streams that is just here no matter what, you just need to know the code. Pretty handy. And then I decide to make my way immediately into all foods. Now, my build direction for this is going to be maxing out body, meaning I'm gonna be leaning into LMGs and shotguns. And so, walking into all foods, I notice there is two handy, really powerful LMGs just sitting here. So I decide I wanna grab one. Prepared. Don't if I rip this off, do they care? Security like this in the factory. Oh! Ooh, no way. What if we just storm in here like this? Oh, here we go. Let's do this. Ha, huh? who wants them? Oh 
gosh. I had an explosive right next to me. the elevator still interesting is it just gonna auto go for us still prime yourself but Royce is waiting for us heads up they're here Good one. hey rock ships big fucking mistake you made this is fascinating you got the set bot and controller all right let's get out of here where's our gun I'm dying for some where's my gun air. where's my gun where's my gun I'm angry I'm upset. I'm furious. Even more furious that this machine doesn't work. <gasps> it works! Never mind. It's fine. Where's my machine gun? Fine. We'll move on. <laughs> slow. Take it slow, V. You'll make it. <laughs> Now this is how we do it. Interesting that all these guys like respawn. I know. Okay, I'm trying. Oh. You want to see some skin? <laughs> Jackie, you're on fire. Shotguns knocking people down is so good. Get geared up. Time to go fight Royce. How did you not see me? <laughs> I'm kind of hard to miss. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, that went well. The roll, it's Rolls versus me. Royce. With all foods wrapped up, I head over to Lizzie's bar to meet up with Evelyn, do the brain dance, and find where they're holding Johnny sausage fingers, and then make my way to the afterlife to start the mission, the heist. After making our way into Compeki Plaza, patching you through to in camp view, <laughs> might Yo. get a little disoriented. Using the flathead to hack the netrunner. We make our way up to Yorinobu's penthouse. We grab Johnny Sausage Fingers. And before hiding in the pillar, I suddenly realized I've never tried something before, which is to just stand and wait for Yorinobu. I've never thought about this before. Like, can you get spotted and we'll smash or kill you? 
<laughs> fat pillar. Fat Yo! Hold and stupid. Oh. Interesting. Don't do this to me. That's kind of fascinating. Bold and stupid. Glad to see that they just reuse voice lines. Beautiful. Being weirdly disappointed that they use the exact same voice lines from the Smasher fight. We hide in the pillar and I have no clue how I hid in there. We then watch Yorinobu, uh, mm, he, he just strangles his father. I'm just, it's what happens. After somehow making it out of the pillar, I of course decide to go on the rooftop to kill a couple dudes up there and grab the katana, cause why not? Then Jackie and I make our way off to the top of the building and jump into the mission. Thanks for the boost, Jackie. This is going like way better than I expected. Finally making our way to Delamain, we get through this drone driving segment, say goodbye to our dear friend Jackie, and then we start up the Johnny Silverhand flashback. Getting into Johnny's body, I realize I'm walking normal, and that feels wrong. I decide to open the mod menu and see if Johnny has an inventory somehow, and I give myself a million more burritos. Turns out, yes, he does, and we are overweight. This is one of the few times where my run actually allows the Johnny segment to play out like the normal segment, so we're actually going to go through this. After making our way to the top of Arasaka Tower and clearing out all the guys on top, we start getting to work. Cheeto 2. The Jabalatron. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love this spider. Oh, yo, collateral. Hit the roof quick. I'm I'm moving as fast as I can. Oh, there we go. Okay. Perfect. Oh, nice. We're still overweight. Sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny. Like the wind. I'll run as fast as my feet will take me. <laughs> I'm coming.
Dang, Rogue. You must be ripped. <laughs> Told you I'd end you someday. With the Johnny flashback concluded, we wake up in our own body, get a beautiful look at the trash clipping through our gut, and then get saved by Takemura. Once again, getting through a driving segment that plays out as normal, we get through the cutscenes and conversations, having a nice chat with Sausage Fingers, and get released back into the open world. Takamura calls us up and asks to meet at a burger place, so of course that is my first obligation. I need to make sure I get some protein in me, you know? We get through some cutscenes conversations, I ate a couple burritos for good measure, and then made my way immediately to meet up with Judy and finish those conversations. I made sure to go grab one of my favorite Iconics, Lizzie, Realizing that I'm just a couple thousand short of paying Rogue, I decide to do some gigs and assault and progresses to try and make some money. I then decide I want to go take on a Cyber Psycho. You see, this Cyber Psycho has an LMG, like the one I've been using. However, his LMG comes with iconic text and always drops at an epic purple tier. And I really want an LMG with Eliminates Vertical Recoil. Oh, I'm out. Uh, Not like this. Okay. Eliminates vertical recoil while aiming. Max mod slots for a purple. Bro, that's exactly what I wanted. Huge. And we put a scope on this thing. We get an eliminates vert or horizontal too on it. And then we're just like a laser beam with this thing. There it is. Horizontal recoil. Let's see how this LMG sniper rifle fares. Besides the bullet spread of just the gun itself, it's it's not bad, you know? Because I'd gotten the phone call from Takemura, I decide to head out to meet up with him first. I have the conversations with Oda and Wakako, and eventually decide to wrap up my stream for the day here. Starting up my stream the next day, I immediately head to the afterlife to pay Rogue for the information on Anders Hellman. After meeting up with Pan Am and we make our way to the avocado camp to grab the supplies, we head off to surprise attack the Raffin Shiv. Laser beam gun, go. No, dang it. And of course, we go after Nash. And him. you see how big this gun is? <laughs> wow. Oh, did you get him, Pan Am? Oh, you did. Nice. Thanks. Eat, let's stay dead. Nice. Happy. After finishing the mission and delivering the supplies, I realized I might be running low on burritos and make sure to stash back up. After sleeping through the night, I decide to immediately follow up with Pan Am and go after Anders Hellman. After overloading this power network, turning it into an EMP, we set off the EMP and watch the AV dance. We get to the AV crash site and I get to work. One really cool thing, I ended up getting a perk that increases the rate of fire of my guns when I dismember things. Turns out robots dismember really easy, and so this triggers a lot and is actually super cool. I love it. I'm coming for you. Yo, that's such a sick, like, perk. What the heck?
with Mitch safe, we hop on these motorcycles, get a beautiful view of our man. <laughs> Dang. Make our way to the airport to clear out these guys, and I get Pan Am to give us a nice boost. Ooh, nice! Let's go Pan Am! <laughs> After making it to the gas station where they're holding Anders' helmet, I remember there's two turrets out front. I want to see if I can just walk in and grab the machine gun off of the stand. You won't get out of this alive, I see cars. No match. Mm -hmm. I recognize them. The class. Uh, no. <laughs> No, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yo, this gets the speed boost? Holy crap, that thing got the speed boost from the perk. That was sick. <laughs> no. I'm gonna try to grab the other one. Clear. Oh, that guy's got a shotgun. That's scary. <laughs> Y'all, this is sick. That speed buff is crazy. Absolutely melting. <laughs> Dang, I gotta take one of these into the smasher fight with all these perks. Is that everybody? I still heard a voice. I think I got everybody. <laughs> After finally getting to Anders Hellman, I get the information I need from him and then decide to finally go after Evelyn. After grabbing this keycard off the guy in the bathroom, I decide to sneak my way into Woodman's office. Big man stealthing through a room. How do we look stealthing? I want to know what they're seeing, you know? This is their view, guys, if you're curious. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping. Uh, what did we get on the Ajax? Ricochet engine. Too bad you can't talk to dead people. I can use oh, that. Wait. After finding out where they're holding Evelyn, I make sure to push my way out of clouds, clearing out all the enemies. On my way to meet with Fingers, I get introduced to one of my new best friends. Hi, you there, mysterious stranger. I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Oh, Thanks. let's go. Free food. Brandon, right? Catch you later, Brandon. Catch Bye, me. Brandon. Bye, best Why? friend. I then make my way down, clear out the guys guarding the entrance to Fingers because they annoy me. Thanks, lady. And then Judy and I have a nice conversation with him. We then do some investigating through a brain dance and go after where Evelyn's being held. Heard shots. You still alive? Uh, I'm here. Got no time to creep around. Uh. Oh. Ah. No. <laughs> this LMG is sick. Judy, get out of the way, I can't shoot. <laughs> Did I just shoot the grenade out of the air? That was kinda sick. Oh, that was close. Find you! 
<laughs> yeah, it's so true. <laughs> like she couldn't catch up. Oh, why wasn't I getting that speed buff before? That went insano mode for a second. I felt like the speed buff like just stopped all of a sudden. Maybe I wasn't dismembering. With Evelyn safe and learning the next couple things through the brain dances she recorded, I decided to immediately go follow up with Takimura where we go hack the float. He buys some food for us, and of course, being the good person I am, I make sure to eat all of it. After scanning the area, I borrow this van and get inside to get to work. Good. Now try to enter the warehouse. Focus! Arasaka reinforcements are here. Ooh, they're all surrounding me. This is fun. You, it walked, it walked into the AV. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, ooh, oh, that kind of worked. Okay, good. Climb the pipe. About to go in. This is the route I wanted oh, it's to go. Good to hear also. How's things at you? I'm using cover. I am cover. <laughs> oh. Yo, grenades blowing off limbs counts for the the fire rate increase. <sighs> That's sick, actually. Oh, look at the speed now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got teamed up on. <laughs> Try to get limbs thrown off. Nice. Oh. He has no right to leave. You need a cock up. Our assignment reinforcements are here. This is such high stress. Oh. <laughs> I guess everybody. After finishing up this mission, it's at this point that I decide I want a decent amount of money because I want to start buying some cyberware like double jump and I also want subdermal armor so I can actually take some hits because I was dying a lot that last mission. I also want to be able to upgrade the LMG I have and do it for cheaper. So I do a lot of buying of resources, crafting weapons, selling weapons, and do this loop until I make a decent chunk of change. After getting the crafting resources to upgrade my LMG as far as it'll go, I make my way to fingers. We see the random street fight that happens almost every time and place our bets on who's going to win. Oh, hey, these guys will fight. Who's gonna win? I'm going guy on the right. Oh, you wanna try? Go on, son. 
Oh, let's go. Nice. I then go purchase the fortified ankles from Fingers. Cause let's be real. This big man probably needs some fortified ankles. And then show chat how beautiful our man is in photo mode. I then decide to test out the hover legs, realizing the sight on this LMG doesn't line up correctly. It's really weird, but you know, it still works, so whatever. I decide to wrap up the stream at this point and pick it up the next day. We then double check that our man's drip is on point, and because I already got the phone call from Takemura, decide to do the mission, play it safe, where we have the fight with Oda. And then start something really annoying. My game decides to start crashing. Now I'm not 100% sure what mod was doing it, I think it might have been the one that was increasing the weight of miscellaneous items, but my game would crash. Anytime I would open up my inventory, I would get a small lag spike, and if I did it too much after a certain amount of time, it would just force crash my game. But yeah, pretty much the entire rest of this run, I'm fighting against crashes happening, and so it's just a mess that kind of happens, but I'm able to kind of push through it, be kind of smart about when I open my inventory, and most of the fights and everything go as planned, and usually nothing wrong happens till after a save drops, so it's not the worst, but it still sucked. Anyways, we clear out all the snipers and make our way to the boss fight with Oda. Alright, another burrito, top us off for the match. Been on a while. Time for a break. Fuck! Of course you're here! Yo! Oh no, I can't stop him from healing because it's going to take me too long. Ah. <laughs> Grenade! Yo, this is going pretty good. I'm sorry, Oda. No. Brought this on yourself, too. Whoa. No, you that was... Oh, whoops, I killed him. Sorry. That was, uh... That was uh, one of the fastest Oda fights I think I've ever done. After melting Oda unreasonably fast... Takemura grabs Hanako, and we meet up at this hotel to have a nice conversation. Arasaka then shows up, we get reminded our boy Takemura doesn't T-pose anymore, and because I'm not avoiding combat, I make sure to go up, save Takemura, and clear out this building. With this mission wrapped up, having all the conversations, I decide it's time to go to the chapel to meet up with Placide. After Placide gives us the mission he wants, I decided it'd be a lot more fun to enter the GIM through the front door. Also because there's a turret right in the middle of the room that's close to the front door, so I start making my way inside. Dang it. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> I was right there. Yes. Yes. It's mine. Heal, heal, heal. You are worthless to me, dead. This thing is sick. The speed buff, let's go. Wait, no, give it back. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's so sick. <laughs> Yo, this is so fun, dude. <laughs> With all the enemies down, I make sure to grab a fresh one of these that's on a mount in a side room and make my way to the boss fight with Matilda. Company soon. Scan. 
Oh, ready? Okay. Ooh, you move fast. Give me my gun back. Oh, that was incredible. Once again, absolutely demolishing a boss. I go knock out the Netwatch agent. Placide tries to kill me, so I go confront Placide. I finally get to meet with Brigitte, the person I came to meet with, and she takes us into a deep dive and we start the flashback. With the flashback wrapped up, I make sure to get into combat with the Voodoo Boys for a little more fun. Oh, let's go. We got the Mega Boost. Just a tank, dude. How's your toes feeling after that? <laughs> he just is—he's just constantly trying to dodge. We make our way out of the chapel, Johnny saves our life, and it's at this point we unlock the end of the game. As I do a lot of times, I decided to put up a poll to let people decide what ending we'd do for this run, and of course, everybody wanted the secret ending for this one, so this is going to be a spicy one. At this point, I'm only level 20, so in order to get to level 50, I decide to implement a XP mod that's going to increase my XP gains by 10 times. This just purely speeds up this whole process, allowing me to do a lot less missions, especially since we're walking so slow. This would take forever to do enough missions to hit level 50. I decide there's a couple things I want. I really want the Headsman shotgun, and I really want the Bloody Maria shotgun to go along with this build. They're the two pump iconic shotguns, and the pump shotguns just usually do really good knockback, so for me, they're just the best choice available to me. So I pretty much focus the gigs and missions that get me better gear like this. And of course, these entire runs, I'm always opening my inventory to eat burritos because you guys keep mentioning burritos, which is crashing my game consistently. Definitely isn't the end of the world, but dang, this took a long time. Getting a good couple levels under my belt and getting quite a few gigs finished, I decide to wrap up my stream picking up the next morning where I continue the level up grind going all the way from level 30 to 50 before eventually spending the time to get all my gear set up, all my cyberware set up. We also do the couple missions required to unlock the secret ending. Also, while leveling up, I do decide to go grab the shotgun guts to bring justice for Rebecca. And after making sure every gun in my inventory is at max level 50, I decide it's time to start the secret ending. We head off to Embers to meet up with Hanako, get through the conversations with her, Vic, and eventually sitting down to listen to Johnny until he finally presents to us the secret ending. Let's go. Let's do it. If I gotta die, rather fall into my I get a split second when we're loading in to open up my menu and eat a burrito. So that's what we're gonna do. Huh. You just discovered what it takes to become a legend. Grab your eye. Let's mobilize. Welcome to our 
the tower. Time to party Weapons like right here. Okay. Burrito. Health buff. A beverage. Good to go. Health in place. Uh what is is it X for me? Yeah, okay. It's I haven't used it so long. I didn't even spend the rest of my perk points. We wish you a pleasant day. Careful. This is their house. Got a game plan all polished and rehearsed. That's a crazy amount of damage. Oh, these things are scary. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Before the first tower went up in smoke, labs were underground. Elevators, what we want. Shit. Okay, we have to. Let's, let's risk crafting ammo. Even though my game might crash still. <laughs> Need to find a guard with some chops. Status. He'll have hey, our access to it. Get out alive! Enemy contact! I'm engaging! No shot, these guys are hitting this hard. Okay, uh, this is, this is a lot more dangerous and scary than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> What'd you call me, huh? Bro, stop dodging. So far, so good. Somehow. <laughs> I'm just hiding in this corner, dude. I don't care. Okay, we need ammo. Go, go, go! It cannot be. Let's go. Okay, we're good. Okay, wait. Where's the uh? Where'd the machine gun guy go? Yes. Oh, yes. Let's go. We about to put in work. Just I definitely had to, like, peek corners down. there. That was really, like, risky, the whole thing. Okay, we're gonna open inventory. Look at our man. Oh, yes. Okay, backpack. Burrito. Let's refresh the heal. Motherfuckers Buff. got no love for foreplay. Brace yourself. Oh, we're definitely getting a movement buff now. <laughs> Second heart. That's 
so brave now, are you? We're coming back. Hey, stop! Get back up! Oh, we almost just died. I got you. We don't have second heart right now. Go, go, go! This thing goes crazy, dude. They can kill me Fuck! This is the end. Hey, over here. New one? Nice. Enemy hey, contact! Oh, oh, fall, V. Fall, fall. Please, please fall. Wow, oh, those guys hit so hard. I would like my second heart back before I do this, but whatever. Let's activate Berserk. All right. Yeah. Go a fresh one for Smasher. I'm coming, Smasher. Celebratory burrito time. Five burritos. Is it not gonna? Okay, there we go. Don't strain yourself now. Hold and stupid. What? Where's my? No, stupid. Sheep. I got robbed. I've taken one of those into a smasher fight. This thing, this thing's DPS is just, the reload speed is what hurts it. How's this thing? No, not bad. Wow, that hurts actually. You know, LMGs should be able to melt him way faster than everything else. But it just they don't they don't. <laughs> This thing should be doing way better damage. How are you not dead? Oh. Where are they? Yes. Give it to me. Let's get a little speed buff.
It feels like he's like, why does he feel so much tankier now? Oh, dang it. Do we have a second heart back? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, he done. He's done. He is done. I get fine. Yes, the big man. First try. Johnny Silverhand sends his regards. Thanks, Smasher. They recently buffed the Don't Fear the Reaper ending in the latest patch. Interesting. That was definitely a lot tougher. Like, he was way tankier than normal. Because, like, I mean, you, that LMG thing that I had should have been absolutely melting him, but it actually took a lot of ammo. That's crazy, dude. Finally, with Smasher down, we feel our big man deserves to be the legend of the afterlife. And so I get through the final conversations with Johnny in Mikoshi. We then wake up, get ready for our day, and realize there's a dilemma. We're not overweight anymore, and we're missing the burritos. Where's my burritos? No, they took my burritos, I can run. <laughs> this is a problem, yet. this is a big problem, oh, yeah. guys. Give me coffee, anything, please. <laughs> Hurry, I need to get to the afterlife. I need to find a burrito machine. <laughs> Here, Delamine, you mind waiting like a half second here? I'm just gonna fly in through this wall real quick with a mod. Got dry, sun week coming your way, nice I need to go into my old place. Hold up. Insufficient funds? <laughs> he took away my money. <laughs> no. Don't you look tired? Did yeah, it's because I haven't had my food yet. Difficult. We need to find a solution. There need there has to be money in the afterlife that I can grab somewhere. We have to be able to buy a burrito. This box up here. You have you have money? Wait. Wait. Money? <gasps> money. Hurry. Take me to the afterlife. I need a burrito machine. Stop. Where? No. 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 Where? What's up, Rogue? Don't talk to me right now. This is bad. This is really bad, guys. No. No. It's a true nightmare in here. My desperation. I'm clipping out of here. <laughs> Gimme. Oh. <laughs> a th whole three burritos. Whew. All right. We're good. Oh gosh, I crossed through the death barrier. <laughs> After satisfying my needs for burritos, I go meet up with Mr. Blue Eyes, and he asks me to go on this mission going into space. And we get probably the most glorious cutscene I've ever had in one of these runs. Yes, let's go, the belly. <laughs> Starfield moment. <laughs> Even my hands are clipping out of the spacesuit. Let's go, big man. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I'm crying, bro. <laughs> what a finale. <laughs> we put another moon in orbit, boys. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun recording this one. It was honestly one of the funniest set of streams I've ever done. Hanging out with you guys, the jokes people were making, the names we were giving to people like Johnny. It was just a lot of fun. Honestly, I really loved the guns I was playing with too. I never really dove that deep into LMGs, and so it was just a lot of fun to play around with them. So when I finally finished up this entire run, I think we all were wondering, how many burritos did I eat? 
And after scrubbing through all of my footage, I counted a total of 141 burritos eaten during the entire run. It's a lot less than a million, but 141 is a pretty decent number, I'd say. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.